Hey, welcome to Flatbread Friday. And today is a twofer. Um, I had some shrimp that I wanted to do something with and I decided that I was going to make shrimp meatballs sort of loosely based on my recipe for my sort of famous, famous legend in my own mind, uh, cod cakes that I used to sell at the markets where I worked. And uh, we're gonna make the meatballs first and then we're gonna make our flatbread. So follow along and let's have fun. As with a lot of things, we're gonna start with the mirepoix. I have a onion that's sliced up and a carrot that's sliced up, a couple stalks of celery that are sliced up. And we're gonna put those in the food processor and chop them up pretty fine. We're doing this in the food processor because I'm gonna need the food processor a little later to chop up our shrimp. So we're gonna start our mirepoix in the food processor and we're gonna pulse or not. <laughs> there we go. And we have reached a lovely consistency for our mirepoix. And now we're gonna cook it down with some herbs and spices and seasonings. Okay, we have about two tablespoons of butter over medium heat. We're gonna add in our mirepoix. Stir these around and coat that up with the butter. We're gonna season with some salt and pepper, some oregano, a little bit of dried basil, by the way, my garden is now planted and pretty soon we're going to be using all fresh herbs. And at this point in time, I'm going to throw in, I didn't, was not able to find fresh garlic for some reason in the store this week, so I had to buy it, but that'll work. And we are going to combine these and cook them down so those vegetables are nice and soft. That mirepoix is nice and soft. And then we're gonna cool that off and we're gonna start with our shrimp mixture. Okay, we are nicely softened and now what we're gonna do is just grate in just a little bit of lemon zest for a little something something. I think that will do it. And we're gonna let this cool down because we don't want this hot mixture to cook the shrimp. So, we're coming right back. While our mirepoix cools, we are gonna take, this is about a half a pound, I can't get in that close, of peeled and deveined shrimp, which we're gonna drop into our food processor. Spread them out so they chop up evenly. And we're gonna pulse these guys. You don't want them too small, but you don't want them too big. Let's have a look and see what they look like. I believe we've reached a nice texture for our chopped shrimp. And when our vegetables are cool enough, we're gonna mix up our meatballs and fry them up. All right, it's time to mix up our meatballs. We're gonna need some binders and some moisteners. So I'm gonna start with one beaten egg, followed by a nice heaping spoonful of mayonnaise. You can go in there too, Mr. Edge of the Jar. And some Worcestershire sauce. And we're gonna mix that up nicely. Mix that all around so it's nice. Now in goes our cooled mirepoix. That is gonna add flavor and texture and deliciousness. Sorry about my arm. And then we have our shrimps. all that shrimpiness in that we can get. And we are gonna blend this around. And now we're gonna bind it all together with some panko breadcrumbs. We don't wanna start with too much, just a little sprinkle and then see how we go. That's probably about a quarter of a cup right there. So we're gonna stir that in and you're gonna let them sit for a little while to so the, give the panko a chance to absorb those juices. And then we'll see what kind of a texture we have. We're gonna heat some oil over some moderate heat and 
as you can see here, our shrimp mixture is nicely formed together. You can pick it up and shape it, you'll see. It's still a little moist, but I wanted to keep it moist, so you don't want dried up meatballs, but especially since some of these shrimp meatballs are going to be cooked on top of a pizza for a second time, you do not want that. Now, you're just gonna take a little bit of oil. Ooh, that's too much. And put it in your hands. And that will help in the formation of these meatballs. We're gonna just scoop and roll just lightly. Cup your hands, roll them into a nice little ball. And then they're going into our frying pan. Okay, our shrimp meatballs are in. They're gonna be ready to get turned any minute now. Okay, we're gonna start turning these. I have to use two tools for this. One to loosen, one to flip. And that way we can just pop them right over. Oh man, looking so nice and brown. All right, we're gonna continue on with all of these. Okay, we're all flipped over and we will be actually coming out pretty soon. I thought I made the oil even this burner is sort of cockeyed. It doesn't help me at all. This guy's a little light. Let's see how he is on the other side. A little better. He's bigger than the rest, so that's... Anyway, these guys are... We're going to take these off. We're going to drain them, drain them on a plate lined with paper towels. And then we're gonna make our pizza. Okay, here we go, we're coming out, going onto this plate. And we're gonna let those rest for a little bit. And then I'm gonna mix up our pizza base. I'm gonna go out in the garden and grab some basil to garnish this with. And we are gonna make our shrimp meatball flatbread. And it's gonna be great. I don't know if you did flatbread Friday with me last week, but I made a lemon scallion cream cheese as a base for our asparagus tart and I had a little bit left over so I'm going to mix that up with some tomato sauce but the first thing I'm going to do is microwave it for a few seconds and make it creamy so it'll mix. Okay so as you can see this is softened up nicely and we're going to add some red sauce and beat it together and make our flat. You want to make sure you mix it all together so that all the lumps come out so that's going to take just a little few minutes and don't forget those scallions in there and then so there will be scallion lump. Okay, it's looking smooth. And now we're gonna go on, spread it around nice and evenly. Our sauce is down. Now next comes our shredded mozzarella. And we're gonna spread that evenly nicely. The question in my brain is should we leave these meatballs whole? And I'm thinking we should because they're gonna go in and they're gonna cook for 20 minutes at 425 and we don't want the shrimp to get all overdone. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spread them out evenly and then I'm gonna press them down a little bit like that, just to get them all working. And now we're ready for a little sprinkle of Parmesan. Gotta give it a nice little crust. Protect our shrimp balls. You gotta go down a little bit, a little more. There you go. A little bit more and then when they come out, we're gonna give them a nice little chiffonade of fresh basil. So going in, 425, 20 minutes. Just in case you don't remember how to make a chiffonade of basil, you take the leaves and you pile them up on top of each other. Here I am out of range, duh. And you pile them up on top of each other. You wanna go have the big ones on the outside and the smaller ones on the inside. And you make a big pile. This one's got some yucky edges, so they're gone. And then you put it down on a cutting board and roll it into a, like a cigar, nice and tight. And then you just draw a nice sharp knife right through that guy. We're gonna draw it forward instead of backwards. That seems to be working better. And what you get are these beautiful little basil ribbons that look lovely, taste lovely, and are lovely. Just like that. 
Okay, we are just out of the oven and we are lovely and pink and shrimpy meatball. And I love how the little pieces of Parmesan stayed on top of all those meatballs. It looks like that was supposed to happen. So after we let this rest for a couple of minutes, cause it's still kind of soupy, we're gonna cut it and serve it. Here's our shrimp meatball pizza, or we could call it shrimp ball if you wanted to, but I like shrimp meatball better and it's beautiful. And here's what we look like from the inside. There's those little shrimp meatballs, tasty, lemony, vegetable-y, and very, very delicious. And here's what it's gonna look like when it's all pretty. I am so happy to have fresh basil back in my garden. And this is how we can serve it. And you don't have to, but it makes it pretty and delicious. And you know, my theory is celebrate every day. So I like to dress it up and Thank you. Like I just said, thank you for joining me for another episode of Flatbread Friday. This was really fun. And again, it was a twofer. We learned how to make, that's a twofer. We learned how to make shrimp meatballs or shrimp balls or whatever you want to call them. And then we turned it into a pizza because it's Flatbread Friday. And then we decorated it with some of our fresh herbs and newly planted. And it was really fun. And wait till you see what's coming next.